Welcome back to Dave the Diver, where we are back in the sushi bar and ready to open up for the night. So um, unfortunately, guys, had a bit of a little problem with the recording um, earlier. And as a result, we unfortunately missed the um, procurement, the harvesting of the eggplant and the carrots from the farm, uh, courtesy of Otto. And now, as you can see on the board there, we have all of the ingredients for the good old vegetable sushi, which is great. So in one more day, where the rapper Sammy comes in for his vegetable sushi, we should be all set for that. So, well, let's just open up the restaurant and carry on with things. Let's go. Oh, well done. And my, guy, my guys are awesome. Aren't they just awesome? Oh. Okay, let's get on the uh, on top of the wasabi. Pour some of that green tea. Et voilà. Come on, Dave. Doing a great job. There we go. Top up the wasabi, please. Ah, oh, not great. There we go. Okay, let's keep it going. Okay, I believe we have actually sold everything. I think that's it. Smashing stuff as usual. Okay, well done. Oh yeah, we also had a Stormy Night mission failed. Well, th that was, um, I believe that's the Vortex mission. Okay, VIP visit day. We can deal with this, though. Huh? Some kind of mail is here? Should I check it? Marlin Party. Hello, this is the Blue Hole Tourism Committee. I'm sure you all know the story of an old man who couldn't catch a fish for 84 years off the coast of Gulf of Mexico. The fish he finally caught was a marlin. And now marlins are beginning to be sighted in the waters near the Blue Hole. To seize this opportunity, the committee decided to host a marlin party three days from today. Local restaurant owners are encouraged to participate in the event to rack up revenue. Rumor has it that some even sighted sailfish not uh, very often, not very often though. The Blue Horizon Tourist Committee. Okay, cool. I mean, yeah, that's uh, pretty good. With the marlins. Um... Yeah, we'll be able to bring in some serious bank with that, won't we? Uh, are we upgrading anything? I don't think so. We've just done the air tank, we've just done the diving suit. We also did the car cargo box, so I think the next thing is the harpoon gun. And, uh, yeah. Let's uh, get down to the sea people and get back into the glacial passage. Let's carry on. Okay, so we have to uh, redo that little puzzle again. But no worries. We have made it back to where we were before. And now we can carry on with this one. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Wait, wait, wait. I don't think that's quite right. Is that right? No, that's... What if we go... Come on. 
Hmm, now we don't seem to be able to, to move it. Okay. Oh, I see, so we can move this thing. Okay. Uh, alright. And we can move this one here. Okay, that makes sense. Et voila. Let's get you. And let us proceed through here. And as we can see, the next part of this puzzle has been done. Um... I know, I know, I know, I know. Pull you down here. And then... Like that. Good. The ice wall blocking the exit has melted away. Now, if I go past it, I will find a door to the glacial area. Mm -hmm. Phew, this place is really old, cold. I could use a hot cup of green tea right now. I'm sure you could, Dave. I'm sure you could. All in due course. All in due time, of course. Uh, but right now, to the next section you go. <laughs> this place is too dark to see anything. <laughs> right, I hit this fruit and it glowed. I should use this. What the hell? What the actual hell? Whoa! Ah, what is the thing? That Gadon is humongous! It's almost unreal! Thankfully chained. Let me escape this place riding the current. Yikes. Yeah. I and mean, what the hell is that? They failed to mention that in the Sea People Village. Uh, the thing shouldn't be able to escape since it's so big. Now, we just have to get out of this current. Oh, come on. Giant Gadon. Oh, dear God. No, no way. I'm gonna die if I get caught. Let's run away. Yeah, good call, Dave. Good call. This is gonna be one of these escape the obstacles thing. Oh, come on, Dave. Ow. Uh-oh. Oh god. Okay, that... So it looks like he can jump. Okay, Divine Tree Fruit. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Boom! There it is. Okay, that's given us a bit of a chance. Oh, yikes, that's not good. Oh, it's a dead end! There's no way. My goodness. Oh no, what are you gonna do now, Dave? Here it comes. Okay, that works. 
Phew, that was a close call. I think it fainted. Path opened up after we hit it earlier. Let's run away before it wakes. Yeah, that's a good call, Dave. Just get the hell out of there. Oh, no, don't tell me it's coming again. It's awake already? What a disgusting creature. Let's run away. Alright, so same thing before. Come on, Dave. Come on. Ow. Oh, please don't get eaten. not going to be a fun playthrough if you get eaten. Oh, come on. Come on, Dave, come on. Ow. Did I lose the creature? What is this vibration? No, you didn't lose him. I shouldn't let my guard down. The current is flowing back to the right. There should be a way out nearby. Let's run away before it awakes. Oh. I mean, come on, though. Oh, for crying out loud. If I die because of lack of oxygen, it's going to be pretty lame. Ugh. Ah, there's light. I'll be able to escape that way. Yikes. Come on, Dave, come on. Whew. God, that was close. I managed to escape. I must barricade the entrance before the Gadron comes after me. Good, now if I nudge that pile of stones... Come on, Dave, come on. <laughs> no way. Suam? Suam? Heh. <laughs> Humans are not that trustworthy. You would have already been eaten by the deep sea fish were it not for you. Were I not there for you. Admit it this time. Thank you, Suam. Haha, <laughs> well. Go and find out what's happening in the glacial area, as you promised me, human. Ah, oh, I didn't ima imagine this place would be so cold. I will freeze to de death if I go down further. Oh, you hope helpless human. You do not have any gear or clothes to protect your body from the cold, then? Well, I must first return to Cobra and ask him. He may have something to protect me from the cold. Well, we have no other option, then. Let's return to the village. You see that huge mirror in the back? Activate it again, and you will be whisked away to the village. You pull the right level, uh, I'll pull the left one. What are you doing? Grab the lever on the right, human. You know, he doesn't. He could call us Dave. I'm just saying. Alright, we pull these levers at once on my signal, okay? Ah, they like their portal mirrors in this civilization, don't they? 
Good. Now we can access this place straight from the village. Go back to the village and find a way to withstand the cold, human. Tss, humans are so fragile. This is something unthinkable for a superior warrior like me, Suwan. Your tail has been shaking for some time now. Are you really alright? What are you talking about? You are clearly mistaken, human. Let's return to the village for now. Ah, uh, true. Uh, I guess Krill went up my nose. Yeah, well done, Suwan, well done. Oh, you came. How was the glacial area? Uh, there was a huge gadon in the passage, so... The glacial area is too cold for me to explore. I need something. Ah, you're ill-prepared, ill-equipped to explore the area for sure with, the, with your light diving suit. Our people wear clothes with divine tree fruits that can withstand the cold. I'm curious. Can your people tailor the divine tree fruit clothes? Tailoring? Cobra or Dr. Bacon may know how. You seem to have talented friends. Take this cloth and ask your friends. Hmm, divine tree fruit cloths. I need to tailor it into a suit. It may protect me from the cold. Alright, we get some pay for that as well. Cool. Okay, let's, um, yeah, head back to Cobra and Dr. Bacon. And uh, see if they can help us out. But yeah, that was that was pretty wild. <laughs> Giant flipping gadons. Uh, yeah, back to the boat. Okay, didn't get any fish. That is fine. But are we not gonna... Um, I guess not. Hmm. Okay. Uh, well, okay, well, yeah, let's uh, check out the farm quickly. Before we do a quick afternoon swim. Yeah, gotta get these weeds. Gotta get these weeds. And let's water these crops, shall we? Et voila. Alright, that's uh, it's gonna be a good haul, I think. Right, let's head to the uh, fish park. Fish farm. Probably got an overpopulation of stuff again here. It's fine, it's still 8%. Yeah, 104, yep, yeah, let's uh, do something about that. All these yellow tang. All these yellow tang. Uh, what am I... doing? Yeah, let's, uh... sell the yellow tang. And... we'll send, send the rest to the kitchen. And the cardinal fish. Uh, and do we want to sell something? Sheep says 50. That's pretty good. Now we'll find there. What about here? 107%. Yeah, we need to do something about this. A coral trout will sell one. And we'll send the remaining nine to the kitchen. And yeah, that's 87% as well. So that is all good. And now back to the boat. Uh, okay, and now, if we get back down there, for the afternoon swim, and then uh, we'll have um, a D-Day. Not D-Day, a, um, a visit from 
our VIP. And would you believe it, we got nabbed by a shark again. Not great. But not the end of the world, because we did manage to bring back some uh, tuna. Alright, let's check out the farm quickly. I mean, this the rate at which our crops have grown is really, really good. Okay, well done. Okay, harvest completed. Uh, let's update the watering with the old watering can. Like, I wonder, can you overwater your plants? I mean, I, I don't imagine so, right? Oh, uh, wait, actually, we should replant some stuff there, shouldn't we? So here's garlic. Let's do some more eggplant. There we go. Yeah, that's uh, that's all right, I think. And now let's head back to the sushi shop. Restaurant, rather. Because we've got a very important guest today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, are you ready? <coughs> right on time. <coughs> Have a seat, it won't take long. Okay, here we go. Bancho doing his thing. I love this one, the game of death one. Alright. Oh, also our ingredients have arrived. Okay, let us serve the special sushi to Sammy. Let's see what he's got to say. Here's your vegetable sushi, DJ Sam MC Sammy. I love these little gifts. I just, I love them. Yes, this is it. The taste of this vegetable sushi reminds me of my younger days. Shut out. Your vegetable sushi is perfect. What's the secret? All I did is seasoning properly. I also got some help from my acquaintances for the ingredients. Many likes it. Son? What? Dad? I wanted to eat something like vegetable sushi. I didn't know it was you. Hmm. I heard people talking about someone who looks like you. That's why I visited here and ordered vegetable sushi. Hmm. It has been eight years since you left home. You never contacted us ever since. <laughs> well, it's a long story. Oh, hang on. That's not how Otto sounds. There was a storm and I got shipwrecked on an uninhab uninhabited island. Hmm. It was just trees and the sea. Hmm. I worked hard to get food and water. Hmm. And sometimes hunted wild animals with a harpoon gun and roasted them. I had to spend my years on the islands until I got rescued and settled here. Wow. What a story, Dad. <laughs> I wanted to visit home after securing a stable life here. <laughs> but it took so long and time flew. I'm sorry, my boy. <laughs> the folks at the village think you abandoned us, Dad. <laughs> my friends pitied me, and some mocked me. Yeah. I began writing music and singing songs to relieve stress, and I became a rapper. <laughs> my son has grown into such a fine young man, but even without me, I am proud of you, son. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I blamed you so much at first, but the music healed me, gave me inner peace. Oh, oh since you come all this way, here, why don't you stay at the farm? Shut out. Of course, like old times. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> since you're all grown up, we can grab some beer together. Aw, oh, well done. Mm. What a plot twist. That rapper was the son of Otto. They have something in common. Both are quite talkative. Yeah, I agree. This is a good thing. Bancho Sushi helped them to reunite. The two must have much to say. I hope they can resolve their misunderstandings. Sweet. Get some decent amount of likes, a Sammy record vinyl, and 100,000 gold. Okay. 
All right, let's look at the old research stuff. What can we research? So we're gonna have to prep the stuff for the upcoming event. Good stuff. And this is this one. Okay. Uh, how, how are our staff doing? Is everyone okay? These guys are okay, aren't they? Kyoko, Billy, Tohoku. Do we need training? Does anyone need training? Hmm. I mean, we could... up Kyoko's serving ability a bit. Go on. Oh, Kyoko. Kyoko seems to have prepared something. What? Do we want to see that for another four hundred and forty-two? Go on. She trains under Chef Ramsay. Okay, she learned a recipe. Stellar puffer Nico Nico Gori. Okay, well done. Well, she's an outstanding server. Almost as good as Billy. Um, our cooks are really good as well. Let's um let's give some let's give Tohoku some TLC. So yeah, all of his abilities are gonna go up a bit as well. Let's do that. Okay, good stuff. And they'll be preparing something as well. He'll probably give us a recipe. Should we... Yeah, go on. Small spotted dart kajimi soup. Recipe. Interesting. Well done, Kahuku. Well done. Uh, okay, what about... Do you do the same with Maki? Go on. She's not going to learn anything else, but her cooking is just going to skyrocket. Okay, and... Yeah, she doesn't get anything else from that bit, does she? Okay, next, I think... Yeah, no, that, that's alright. I think my guys are, are, are pretty good like that there. So we'll, we'll leave them as it is. Let's take a look at uh, Cookster. Yeah, it's as I thought. That best, ta best taste rating is based on the dish that we have. The, the best tasting dish that we have. We need something that has a level of 250 or higher. And at the moment, we don't. Huh. Can we take a look at the ingredients? See, we don't need to sell anything. We'd rather need to buy stuff. Uh, okay. Let's get to selling. Okay, we can sell some vegetable sushi. We enhance it... ...to 150. Ah, no, but it's pretty good as it is. Yeah, maybe just stick with the stuff we got. Okay, yeah, let's uh, let's get selling. Let us sell some veg sushi. Four of you. I think I do need to catch some some more um, fish. Man, I would have gotten some decent tuna had I not gotten friggin' mauled by that shark. Gonna put all my tuna on there. Tiger shark sushi. Yes, please. Blobfish sushi. Yes, go on. Uh, giant treble, eh? 
Yeah, let's go put six of you on there. Mm. Chambered Nautilus. And let's go sell some skewers. Alright, that's a good run. Let us... let's do some selling. Okay, I think I'd like to get Billy to learn how to serve tea. I think that would be useful. There we go. Good stuff. Okay, good. Let's keep it going. Damn, we're doing some good stuff today. Get that wasabi topped up. Okay, I think that is a good run. Everyone's happy. Alright, decent sales again. Nice. Yeah, we need a super tasty dish again, I think. Chapter 6, now melting the glacier. Glacier? Dave, is everything going well? Mm -hmm. Um, I opened the passage to the glacial area, but... I can't explore the area because it's too cold. Oh, your current suit is not warm enough. I see. So the sea people gave me this cloth, but I don't know how to use it. The cloth is warm to the touch! This is the breathing apparatus found in the sea people's cave. I can make a cold-resistant suit if I have a mechanical part that can patch up the items. Mechanical part. Don't you have one from John Watson's suit? Mm. You're right. Actually, I brought some complex mechanical parts. This is a device that automatically adjusts water pressure. I may be able to do something with this. But... It's too damaged to be used without repair. If only we could find one intact somewhere. Oh, I have an, a good idea. What is it? I will tell you later in the evening. I need to organize my thoughts. Ha ha ha. I have a bad feeling about this. Yeah, I've got a feeling we're going to be doing some night diving. Otto? Hello, Dave. Uh, have a good night's rest sleep? Yes. Did you spend time enough time talking with Sammy yesterday? <laughs> of course. We have not seen each other for so long before yesterday, so we definitely had a good time. By the way, I want to show you something. Come to the farm if you have time. Okay, let's see what Otto has to show us. I think I know what it is. He's going to expand the farm. No? Chickens? Damn, this is really opening up. Huh? Chickens? And, uh, Sammy? What happened to your clothes? Shut out. Hey, yo. I talked to Pops yesterday and got all sentimental. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I became a rapper because I love music, but I got tired of that celeb life. I think we could use them to cook with. Uh, I'll give them to you when we get out of here. Take them to the cook. So, you quit music? Yeah. No, no. I will stay here to enjoy my rural life and nature while writing new songs, yeah. yeah. You know, I can release new songs at any time online these days, so it's easy to do that. Mm. Aha. By the way, what's up with that chicken? Huh. I shared some food with neighbors, uh, and they gave me this chicken in return. Uh -huh. I wanted to make him a yummy fried chicken, but my son wanted to let it lay eggs. 
<laughs> and he made a chicken farm overnight. He reminds me of my younger self. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Haha. <laughs> and I got inspiration from the rhythm of the hammer, you know? <laughs> it warms my heart to see you and your son together. <laughs> Speaking of chicken, from now on, I will offer you eggs on my farm. Ooh, Ooh eggs, you say? Hmm. I can't give you more than one egg because there is only one chicken on the farm. <laughs> if you want more chickens, ask Sammy. Remember, only one egg per chicken a day, no more. Yeah. Uh, there are two grades for eggs, class uh, grade A and B. Good grade chickens like good grade eggs. Yeah. I will stay here with my pops. Come visit me often, yo. Eggs, huh? Boncho's menu will be expanding for sure. Okay, so we can raise chickens now as well, okay. Let's collect a chicken. Oh, well, we have collected a chicken. White chicken. Let's see his shop. Uh, oh, because we can buy some more chickens. Okay. Free range chicken. Grade A. 70%. I gotcha. I gotcha. Increases the likelihood of, gr of laying high quality eggs. Okay, let's... Um, we'll buy one. That'll give us two eggs for sure. No, we don't want to sell anything. So, okay, we bought our chickens, that's fine. Our garlic is done. And I suppose we should uh, plant some more carrots now, right? Oh, out of water, okay. Let's top up the old water. And water all the stuffs. Okay, good stuff. Uh, let's see. Everything is good here, very good. Um, okay. Okay, okay, okay. To these to the fish farm. That's not really growing, isn't it? This place is, though. Because we're getting so many of you fish. Hmm. Yeah, we'll sell some of these here. And let's sell some cuttlefish. Okay, I think that's a decent, um, decent run. Uh, do we need to expand anything? We can open a glacial, glacial passage area. We don't really catch many fish in there, do we? No, no, we're, we're okay. We are okay. Okay, back to the boat. Okay, new product stocked. Well, farming report available. Uh, check cookster, of course. Oh, we need we need good recipes now. Uh, that is all good. Yeah. I check out iDiver. It's on here. It's just the harpoon gun next, I think. Yeah, harpoon gun. 
Alright, time to get back out there. Anyhow, um, that's all for now, guys. Thanks very much for watching, and I will uh, see you guys next time. Take care.